Welcome back in. Well, this summer has proven to be one of the hottest in quite some time, and too much heat could cause a major health problem for those that are healthy. It can be even more brutal on those who have diabetes. One local doctor gave me some tips for diabetics to beat the heat. It's a special health report. Endocrinologist Dr. Anita Ramzetti with Roper St. Francis Hospital says diabetes affects hundreds of thousands of people here in South Carolina. She says studies show a large part of the community doesn't even know they have it. And with the blazing temperatures outside this summer, knowing you have diabetes is half the battle. Every part of your body that you can think of can be affected by diabetes, so it's, it's pervasive and it's something that once diagnosed really needs a lot of attention so that you can prevent it from affecting multiple aspects of your life in, in bad ways. Dr. Ramzetti says heat can cause a diabetic patient to have an impaired ability to sweat. If you can't sweat effectively, then you're at more risk of developing heat stroke without being aware. Um, and a lot of the early signs of something like heat stroke are mild. She says limiting your time outside is best. Another key to beating the heat is staying hydrated and drinking plenty of water before your body tells you that you're thirsty. By the time you're thirsty, you're probably at least 20% past what you really should be in terms of when you should have started hydrating. Being careful not to get a sunburn is also key because in a diabetic, burning can lead to infection. The sunscreen recommendation, which everyone should wear anyway, that's particularly important for people with diabetes because they don't heal as well. And closed toe shoes, she says, are a must to keep from getting blisters. And light cotton clothing and socks are also good. And although it's important to keep your medication on hand, forgetting it in a hot car can ruin both your insulin and supplies. Dr. Ramzetti says studies show during the summer months, blood sugar in patients that have diabetes tends to go up. They also see more patients due to the extreme heat. We have a lot of patients who once, once they've accepted that this is um, something they can control, then all of the responsibility becomes more second nature. It's less to think about, less to actually monitor, and they do quite well. Dr. Ramzetti says even though diabetes is a chronic disease, with the proper diagnosis and treatment, it can be managed and in some cases even go away.